my freeloading wretched girlfriend said that I love Palestine and yes it cracker fat <laughs> more than I love Australia <laughs> but I'm too gutless to tell anybody Peter Dutton Tick tock, tick tock I've been so busy! <laughs> Happy Vegemite Drilling Month, everybody! It's great to see my ministers getting into the spirit of Pride Month <laughs> like this pig-faced non-binary abomination and his new little man boobies. <laughs> the little snake mouth and I love Poofed a Month it gives us a chance to bond on our transitioning journey. Who's <laughs> daddy's dirty little boy? No credibility. I'm such a celebrity. Here I am signing autographs for the kiddies. Oh, sorry, kid. I'm going to have to take the ball back because... You are the wrong colour. It was great to pop down to Launceston and to miss all of the retarded people who voted for me. Let's talk about housing, oh. Prime Minister. Who are we? Look at me. I'm one of the boys. I should be working on cheaper electricity and housing, but I'm not. He should stop with all the photo ops and just do his day job. Happy Reconciliation Day, everybody. No. I'd like to start by acknowledging that this afternoon we are moving the lands of my ancestors. No, no, no. I'll put a shock in at Uncle Colin. <laughs> Even I'm getting sick to death of being welcome to my own country <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> now take your gum leaves and your possum skins and piss off. Thank yes! <laughs> And wasn't it wonderful to see this bitter and twisted old hag making fun of Peter Dutton? At least Sam Neill came to his senses and got rid of this hideous looking old cow with the tuck shop arms. <coughs> now people keep asking me why I haven't sacked this grinning pencil knobbed creep who can't do his tie up properly. And that's enabled things like using drones to keep track of these people. I can't sack the pencil knob because he said he'll show my freeloading renter girlfriend the pictures of me at the Thai massage, I mean the Thai restaurant. And this little piggy is no better. My understanding is that drones are being used. No. Oh, Murray, you ugly, mole-headed prick. Stop talking and just stuff another donut down your trap. And you can stop looking for a house, everybody, because I renovated one in Sydney, which is going to solve the entire housing crisis. Hey, don't worry, guys. You'll get your new house just after the 100,000 new migrants get theirs. You might already know that we're taking $1,000 off every household's power bill. Well, last night the Albanese government announced that they would add $300 to that. I don't think this rodent mouth chipmunk who realises that nobody likes him anymore. And you can stick that flyer up your dwarf headed backside and nobody wants it. Somebody should have told the head full of teeth to do something about that scab on his chipmunks. Nose. Why have you, in conjunction with your legal advisers, decided to withdraw from the first major test, I suppose, of a reluctant platform to remove violent material when instructed to do so? <laughs> you know what? Is that actually, that actually happened? <laughs> well, actually, we are fighting this particular battle. I'll put a shock in it, Karen, you Botoxed bonehead. You've already wasted enough taxpayers' dollars. And you've made me an international laughing stock. <laughs> There's no place for anti-Semitism, prejudice of any sort, Islamophobia in our communities. 
Hey for electricity! After a busy day of taking selfies, I love nothing more than to search marketplace and to see if anybody's selling a spine. <laughs> it was great to see Prime Minister Modi, who in his third election, and I only put up with this bearded prick. So all the 7-Eleven and Uber drivers vote for me. I'm sure this is going to mean safety and security in the region going forward. It doesn't matter if there's any problems, I can always count on my masked bowl head to stuff things up. It's time for another selfie, although this buck-toothed dwarf head ruined the picture. Just piss off, Stephen, and do something useful. Like put your head in a vice. <laughs> Seizing the opportunities that are there. Nod your head if you've been to a glory hole in the last 24 hours. A little deeper. No! Deeper! Squeeze my hand, squeeze it! I thought it was about time that I wheeled out in my freeloading renter girlfriend for another gala event. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? And even though I look like I've just eaten my own poo, and now I'm not getting cold feet about the fake wedding. Children are dying in Gaza right now because they don't have enough to eat and drink because of a human engineered famine. But in Parliament, the Prime Minister wants to make it all about him. Oh, Adam, stop picking on me. Everybody knows that I love Yasser Cracker Fat, but I'm too scared to tell anyone in case I lose votes. <laughs> Geopolitics, it's too difficult for me, so it's time to take another photo standing around people I don't know. <laughs> this is more my speed, anyone fit that ball? <laughs> what do you mean there's a housing crisis? I'm just going to stand around with my hands in my pockets just taking photos with celebrities and famous sports people. Oh, and you two can just stop complaining. Why don't you just go on an overseas holiday? Baby Otto. Baby Otto. Anti-Semitism has no place in Australia. Islamophobia has no place in Australia. <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me that this demonic lifeless corpse who was staring at the back of my head and now fix your bloody tie and piss off. The cost of everything is going up. We're delivering $300 in energy bill relief to every Australian household. Oh, just shut up, Chris. Everybody knows that you're the reason why their energy bills cost so much. Now do something useful and go and wipe down the glory hole in the men's bathroom. <laughs> This is Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. How are you? <laughs> Why don't you just admit you love Palestine more than Australia? <laughs> you gutless, spineless, <laughs> little nutless pup. It's time for another photo op, and that means another hat. Oh, what are you doing here, you <laughs> rabbit mouth? Nobody likes you anymore, so you can just piss off. <laughs> oh, there were so many people lining up for selfies. They all thought that me and this <laughs> grinning four-eyed knob <laughs> were Slim Dusty's special needs cousins. You were called a liar. Um, how does that sit with you? Like a rhinestone cowboy. Now, this Prime Minister has an excuse for everything and a plan for nothing. Okay, that's all I've got time for today. I've got to take this fake photograph to show all the Jews 
keep voting for me, even though they know I love Yash and Cracker Fat. Tick tock, tick tock. That's just not fair. Bruce Springsteen! Bruce Springsteen! <laughs> and I've listened to people who are all saying... No. The clock's ticking, nothing's happened. Take a gatin!